What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went straight to the Trick House, number 7, I think. And, well, we decided to make a little habit of, you know, doing uh, doing this whole uh, side questing thing before we go straight into the Pokemon League. So the next stop in our little adventure is going straight to Pacific Log Town because, well... Let's see, we got quite a few things to uncover right here. Now, if you guys don't know, if you go down here to Route 132 all the way to Route 134, you will be finding some, you know, some tides. And I'm talking about, like, tides that, you know, make you uncontrollably move. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be battling a few trainers. Yes, I do know what's ahead and all that stuff, and that's what we're leading straight towards. Um... Kind of want to battle all these because I never really got the chance to do so when it came time to, you know, the nitty gritty and all that stuff. And now these guys could be uh, of use too because, well, we got three more Pokemon that are at, well, I kind of want to train Jaws, Vesuvius, and Dalsim to level 45. That way we can be at, and probably at like a proper level going into the Pokemon League. And this guy's like, I used to catch colds all the time as a kid, but I, be I became totally fit after I started swimming. Okay, yeah, that's true. Sports do do that. So yes, guys, we're gonna be doing some side questing battling because, well, I like to build anticipation and all that stuff. And look at this, this guy's got himself a Sharpedo. Okay, Sharpedo, meet Vesuvius. Vesuvius earthquake attack, and here comes a scary face attack. Holy crud baskets, yes. So anywho, yes, we are close to the Pokemon League, guys, and uh, you know, not a lot happens after the Pokemon League. Now. I know many of you guys are saying, why don't you go capture Rayquaza right now? Well, here's the thing, guys. We are totally underleveled. When it comes to trying to challenge Rayquaza, it is at level 70, okay? Literally at level 70. Yes, you can actually, uh, you can actually win the Pokemon League with just Rayquaza himself. But I choose not to do so because, well, I'm not a cheater like many people out there think I am. Okay, we're gonna do that afterwards. And to be quite honest, this it would serve for a very good fifth episode, but to me, it sounds like we're gonna be doing four episodes this week because, well, yeah, you know, that's what it's leading up to. I've, I've been trying to look for another thing that to do before we head straight to the Pokemon League. Hell, I even said that maybe I should just split both, uh, well, two episodes at a time. And look at that, Joust grows a little 45. Yeah, I've been thinking of doing that, but... I mean, what's the point? Many of you guys want to see that. I don't know, probably. Anywho, what's going to happen now, since Jaus has grown up to level 45, is we're going to give Vesuvius uh, the experience here, because to me, it looks like it's more of the... It's going to be the... It's going to be the Pokemon that's going to... I'm going to have a little bit of an issue trying to train up and all that stuff, so... Let's go ahead, take Vesuvius' quick claw, and give that experience here to someone else, and... Well, let's go right ahead and use Dalsim right here. So, our Pokemon are at a good level, I would say so. And, uh, well, here we are in Route 133. And as you guys can see, you don't have much choice going up to the upper corner right here. And you're going to be skipping out on quite a few trainers, including this whole bay area right here. Now, you will find some, some items around this area, so just be aware. Yes, we're going to be going back and forth battling everybody. That way, you know, we actually uh, we actually have a full episode of battling here. Now, there is uh, there was something that I was planning on doing, or there is something that I am planning on doing when we go into our battle against Steven Stone, and that is incorporate our Pokemon into the Fire Red, or our Fire Red Pokemon into this game right here, which we can now because, well, you know, yeah, we, 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 we kind of solved the mystery of why isn't uh, why can't we trade? And well, look at this high jump kick on a Seedra. How's it feel to fail, Seedra? Not so good. That's right. And look at this Dalsim grows to level 43. We're good to go. And uh, well, let's see. Is there anything else? Nothing else. Now let's go ahead and grab this item right here. Let's see. There we go. Star piece has been found. Yes, sir. Now, the reason why I'm going to try it, well, I'm going to be incorporating my Pokemon Fire Red team here is because, well, shoot. You know, how else are we going to get to the levels, the same levels as Steven Stone? In this game, Steven Stone, he's the king. He's the man. He's Michael Jackson, and we're Tito. Now, if you guys don't know what, what the reference was, you 
you should probably check it out. You should probably find out. Now, if you guys get this reference, comment down below where what movie is it from. Now, here we go, digging on our love disc. Let's go with a high jump kick. And buckets. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get hit. Now, eventually, I am gonna reteach a few moves to Dalsim because, well, we need him powerful as always going into this next, uh, this next uh, thing. And wow, look at this. We're gonna be attracted and, well, let's go with the confusion. Yes. Confuse, come on! There we go. And there we go. Speed button, you gotta love it. And we're gonna be going up against another one of these Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and use Raiden, the God of Thunder. That's right. Okay, Raiden, how's it going? You and your pointy head and all that stuff? That's great, that's fantastic. Let's go right ahead. Shockwave these people. Mm-hmm. And look at this, the shockwave, here we go. Where you at? Where you at, love, love disc? There you go. Okay, so... That is pretty much it right there for defeating this trainer. And I think, oh yeah, there's another trainer right here. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon first. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I do know that we have three rare candies with us. I'm always saving that for later on. Should be for another Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and do this again. And there we go. And here it is. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Battling another trainer. Alrighty, so who's the next person? And here we have Swimmer Jack coming out with a Gyarados. It's pretty awesome. Okay, alrighty, so this is not going to work because Gyarados is a flying type Pokemon as well. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go to the God of Thunder yet again. Raiden. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Raiden using its leer. Not good enough. Not gonna do something. And let's go with a thunder. Let's let's be a little extra right now and just throw that thunder. And there you go. See that? See that? I did something right there. Gyarados, kick some butt, take some names. Look at that. Alrighty, okay. So let's see. Get some more points, and Jack has been defeated. I am I am victorious right here. So let's see. We're gonna choose our path right here, and this one will lead us nowhere. So it looks like to me we're going to have to go all the way back eventually. And there is nothing right here. Now, eventually this will lead to us going into the underground sealed chamber, I believe that's what it's called. And, uh, yeah, here we are in Slateport City. So we're going to be moving back. So I'll be right back with you guys with the other, you know, another installment of this thing right here. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're back, guys. And, well, we're going to be going uh, just a little bit more towards the middle right here. See if we can actually find something. And, well, we kind of messed up right there. Yeah. Okay. But we do land on this area, which brings us to our fourth rare candy. And I think... No, that's not all the rare candies that we've actually found. I think there's quite a few more. But... Buckets! This will lead us to the top portion right here. Yes. Okay, so... Yeah, we're kind of screwing up right here. We already battled her. Let's see where else we can actually go to. Let's see. Let's go right here. And... Yes, an angry... Yeah, we're going to be having a, a... Actually, we've already been here, so let's go right back. We're going to speed this up because, yeah, yeah, we're not going to be doing this. Okay, so we're towards the very end. Let's go... Towards down here the down here portion can't even pronounce it and here we have another trainer waiting for us and he's gonna be like win or lose you'll never know until you try bring it okay alrighty bring it anywho here we are taking on fisherman Roland and he's gonna be coming out with his magic carp so yeah we're gonna be speeding this through because seriously okay you know what I'm gonna take that risk confusion there we go finally a trainer with uh, multiple Gyaradoses and Vesuvius grows to level 30 or 43. And let's go ahead and try this again. There we go. And wow, a trainer that's actually wow. He has he has actual freaking Gyaradoses. That's awesome. Okay, that's great. And there we go. Gyarados again. Let's go straight for that. Now I'm kind of hoping this guy would want to battle us again. No, he does not want to. Okay. So yes, our good old buddy. Dal seems getting his butt kicked quite a few times. So let's go right ahead and use the super potions, and there we go, just like that. All right, let's see what else we could actually find. Nothing right here, so let's go down the middle and find 
something else right here. And, well, we're going to be going up against two people. Let's see what else happens. Hmm. Yeah, we got the right Pokemon for this. And there we go. We are being looked at by two ends. Okay. All righty. Let's go. Bring it on. Okay, so here we go, taking on Expert Paxton and Cool Trainer Darcy. And, well, they're going to be having two different kinds of Pokemon right here. Flying-type Pokemon. I am kind of hoping Vesuvius can hit one of these guys. So let's go right ahead and go with a Confusion onto this guy and a Rock Slide onto both. And, of course, Pelipper is going to be that guy and use a freaking Protect. And, well, here comes a Double Team. And, well, we miss in all fronts right here. And... Do it again, and there we go. Gonna do this again, and just like that, we go to level 44. Rock slide onto Pelipper. He's still a flying type homeboy, and there it goes. We win. And here comes a Vesuvius itself, and we're gonna go with an Earthquake, and just like that, we don't have to use uh, Earthquake onto our Vesuvius right here, or Dulcim. Look at that, we win. That's right, we are victorious, we are strong. Like Thor says, we are mighty. And, well, let's see. We got two more trainers right here. So, yes, I would like to battle them both. That way, get more experience points. So, there we go. Another double battle. I'm always with my husband, but I can win even without him. So, I'm assuming the other guy was his husband. Her husband. Someone's been watching me intently. Was it you? Probably. Alrighty. So, here we go. Taking on cool trainer Jonathan and expert Michaela. And here they coming out with their two Pokemon. Holy buckets. Alrighty. So, let's do this. Alright, Vesuvius. Time to do it. Time to do it, but to do it. And here we go. Confusion. And let's go with... Huh. You know what? This will work against this guy. And... Okay, so here we go. Confusion and Rock Slide. And there we go. We win. Alrighty. Level 44, Dalsim. And here comes a Metacham, and it, it, it just kind of feels like they're using the same Pokemon I am doing. So, let's go with the Rock Slide, and just like that, we win. And, well, we're getting texted. And, yes, everybody texts us while we're doing our, our stuff right here. So, let's go with an Earthquake Attack, and... Damn it! Okay, well, I knew the risk. <laughs> Dalsim does not get any love. Let's see what this is. And we found ourselves a Protein. And, well... Let's see. Let's go right ahead and first revive our good old buddy Dulcine because, well, yeah. <laughs> we don't treat it with love, but yeah, it still gets some points right there. We're close. We're close to level 45 on each of these Pokemon. And, well, there's the area that we were supposed to go. And, wow, this is taking us all the way right here. Not entirely a bad thing because this will actually lead us to another trainer. So let's go right ahead. I want to win like everyone else, but I won't raise my Pokemon like everyone else. You don't say. Okay. So let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and take on a Warren, and he's got himself a Graveler right here. So let's go. Let's give Dalsim a little bit of love. High jump kick for the win. There you go. Graveler defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And there is a... <laughs> A good amount of points right there. And here comes a Ludicolo. That's the first time that, you know, we've actually seen Ludicolo. Has it? Has it really? Okay, uh, you know what? Ludicolo. Let's go with Hadouken. I haven't seen Hadouken in quite some time, too. It has been a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So here is Ludicolo. If I had a Ludicolo, I would name this Pokemon Ole. That's right, because, you know, that's pretty awesome stuff. Okay, so here we go with a fly attack. And an earthquake is not going to work on us, but guess what? This fly attack from a Dukin wins. Okay. And Ludicolo has been defeated. Yes, Vesuvius grows to level 45 finally. And he's trying to learn eruption. This is a very powerful move. Only 5 HP. Now, take a look at this. The higher the user's HP is, the more damage is caused. That right there is pretty awesome. So it's a first time attack thing. So just keep an eye out for that. So we're gonna be switching out Eruption for that. And well, Warren has been defeated. Darn it. May, 
My way is still way to slack, or I don't even know what that means. So, that's pretty much it right there. And, uh, well, let's see. I, I, I kind of feel like we need to go down here. And, well, let's go down the middle. And this one will lead us all the way to Route 134. And, holy crap, we are forced to go up here. Wow, we missed a lot. Yeah, we missed a buttload of stuff right there. So, we're going to go all the way back and battle everybody else. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back again, guys. And we're going to be doing this all over. Um, kind of need to go to a few more trainers. Like I said, we're going to be doing this whole episode right here, battling everybody we can. And we got one more Pokemon left at level 44. Hopefully, hopefully we get it to level 44. So, let's go right, or level 45, I should say. Wow, I, yeah, I gotta stop smoking the dank right there. Not really. And, well, let's see. To me, it's right up here, hopefully. And uh, there's a trainer there that we haven't battled. And we're gonna go up here. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. We missed. Okay. Time to go back. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see. We've already battled this schmuck. And we're going up here. Crap baskets. So, we have to go... Okay, we already battled that guy, I think. So, if we go right here... And... Damn it. Okay, so, yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I hate this game so bad. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so, yeah, it took us quite a few tries, but we actually went through a boatload of stuff to get here. And I don't think we're going to be battling that guy anytime soon. Because I'm sick and tired of it already, so we're going to be battling both these trainers. And I don't know why they're running unevenly or something like that. Uh, one's catching the other, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and battle her. I really don't care. Let's go high jump kick and we're going to be hitting ourselves, look at that. And, uh, well, here comes a Hariyama, so confusion attack for the win. And there we go, Reyna has been defeated. How you like me now? And let's grab this, and we found ourselves a Carbos. Definitely something we needed, and well, let's go ahead and battle this guy. Hurry, Pokemon Trainer! No need for words, we battle now. Okay, we battle now. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna be battling another Hitoshi, and well, we're gonna speed this up right here. Confusion for the win. Confusion again for the win, and just like that, we are victorious. Hitoshi stands no chance against Dulcine. Okay, so. I think this is going to lead us towards... Hold on just a sec. I don't want to make a mistake right here. So... Huh. There there are people at the bottom right here. Maybe I should try it. I don't know. Let's see. I don't want to battle them. And yeah, we're, we're going to be led to this part right here. So, I'm going to try and find my way to get back to those people. That way we can battle everybody. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, let's see. Is this the right way? I think so. Let's try not to go toward that spot. Okay, so it looks like to me we've made the right way right here, guys. Look at that. Okay, that's a little puzzle. And we got these last few people to battle. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Vesuvius is already is already at level 45, so let's go ahead and take that. Let's go ahead and take that item away from them. And of course. Our bag is going to be full, because, you know, why not? And, uh, let's see, protein. Let's give that to Dalsim. Quick Claw, let's go ahead and give that. Let's go ahead and give this one to Vesuvius. Experience Share. Let's give that to Dalsim for the time being. The Focus Band, of course, is going to be back on to Dalsim. And the, yeah, the Mystic Water is going to be back there for... Yeah, we got four of those little bastards, and you know what? Let's go right ahead and give that magnet back to our good old buddy, Raiden. And, alrighty, let's go right ahead and battle our Pokemon trainers right here. The Savage's Tide in this area serves to make us stronger than ever. Oh, oh wow, okay. Can you, or uh, can your Pokemon dodge our lightning quick attack? Probably. I don't even know. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're going to be taking on uh, two more trainers, and one of them happens to be a dragon tamer. This guy looking uh, pretty sweet right here. Okay, so he's got himself a Bagon. And, well, it looks like to me, yes, we're going to be doing some stuff right here. So let's go ahead and speed this up. I jump kick onto that guy, leaf blade onto that guy, and just like that, we win. Look at that. Dulcine, grows to level 45. 
And yes, we are the winners. That's right. We are the winners. Alrighty. So I think that's pretty much it right there. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for all these people. So we're going to be moving on forward. Now, there is one last thing that we need to do, and I kind of want to actually do it before, you know, we, we, we finish off this episode. The next one is we're going to unlock the Reggie's, uh, I guess the Reggie's uh, Hidden Cave or something like that. So I'll be right back with you guys with the proper Pokemon. Alrighty, guys. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going straight to the Seal Chamber. We're going to be, you know, uncovering that. We're going to be... Yeah, we're gonna be messing with that, okay? So, let's see. What do we need to do? We need to repel. Yes, we've been messing with these things right here. So, first things first, guys. Yes, you need a Whelmer, or, yeah, you need a Whelmer and a Relicanth in order for this to happen. And the great thing about, you know, having a Super Rod right now is, right here in Pacific Log Town, you can get yourself a, a Whelmer? No, a Whale Lord. But a Whelmer up to level 43. And as you guys can see, yeah. We caught ourselves a level 43 guy and evolved him and all that stuff. Look at that. Yes. We could use him on our team. You know, he's right there. He is right there. Or she. I don't know. Shoot. But yes, we got ourselves a Whalmer. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to get the F out of here and look for the sealed chamber. And hopefully we get it on the first try right here because, yeah, good old Draven's not that great at this whole place right here. So, we're going to go down the midsection right here. I think that's what we call it. And, well, we need a Pokemon that needs Dive, so be so make sure to have a Pokemon with Dive. And you also need a Pokemon with Dig, because, uh, who knows? Oh, crap, Baskets, I think I messed up right here. Oh, wow, I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. Okay, let's see. This probably, yeah. Huh. Oh, no, I didn't mess up. Okay, so... Once you hit the Route 134, just make sure to go down right here, and... BAM! There is the open spot that you'll find the sealed chamber. Make sure to have a Pokemon with Dive. And BAM! You're gonna go underwater. From there, you're gonna be, uh, looking at this whole place right here. Holy crowd baskets, look at this. Yes. It's a whole new world. Yes. And this one will lead you to a place that, you know, you thought that, you know, never existed. I know when I was playing Pokemon Sapphire, I never got to this place. I always finished the game and then restarted it all over again and all that stuff. So, anywho, read this. You can dive up. Don't know what it says, but we're going to be going upstairs. Okay, we're up. All right, so as you guys can see right here, we got a whole place filled with Braille uh, signs right here. Now, if you guys can figure it out, please comment down below. That way we know. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need a Pokemon with Dig. It probably says that right there, so what you need to do is have your Pokemon use Dig. And actually, hold on just a sec. Uh, also, you uh, you also need a po you also need Relicanth at the very top, and you need Whalelord at the very bottom for the next room, so just make sure to have that. And let's go right ahead and use Dig. So let's see if this actually works. Dig, and bam, it opens it up. Okay, so. Here we are in the next room, in the sealed chamber, and as you guys can see, all these rocks right here are positioned in a very familiar way, yeah, you know. And again, if you guys know what this means, please comment down below. Make sure to have Relicanth and, and Whale Lord on your team. Relicanth in the, in the top portion and uh, Whale Lord on the bottom. Once you reach this portion, whatever it says right there, it says, and, well, let's see. I don't know what else would do. I don't know what else ha what happens. Okay, so I think I got it wrong right here. Let's see. Maybe it's Whale Lord at the top and Relicant at the bottom. Let's see. Go right here. And yes. Okay, so Whale Lord on the top, Relicant at the bottom, and as you guys can see, it activates this whole thing. And you hear three things or three doors open from somewhere far away. And yes, we have just uncovered a little secret of ours and all that stuff. So let's get the heck out of here. All right, so let's go ahead and dig our way out of here. Yes, we're digging our way out. Yes. All righty. So we definitely have three doors open. And, uh, well, that, those will be explored after we defeat the Pokemon League and all that stuff. I know that we can actually go and get them right now. 
I know that we can go and get uh, Rayquaza right now, too. So, yeah. I don't know. Don't tempt me, guys. Do not tempt me. I kind of want to wait. I really do. I don't know. I think we should. But, anywho, that is pretty much it right there, guys. Let's, uh... Let's go back to Pacific Log Town right here. And, uh, let's go... Yes, Pacific Log Town. There you go. There you are. Okay, so here we are. Pacific Log Town. How you doing? Anywho, this has been our adventure. In the next episode, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I kind of want to... I'm being tempted a little. But, anywho, in the next episode, we will, uh, be doing something very, very special. I don't even know, but yes. We'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Thank you guys again for being patient and supportive as always. I will be back. See you guys.